Tourists using the border crossing to Vientiane for visa applications are advised that the embassy has posted a new advisory on its website. The advisory tells potential applicants that they need to file in advance online for a number in the queues to see officers. Visitors who are applying for visas need to print out their appointment cards and take them with them. That will be turned away. The advisory also states that walk-ins and applications through agents will no longer be accepted. And this is likely to be passed to all other border crossings quickly around Thailand. A 32-year-old Korean computer programmer was taken by staff at his own embassy to make statements to Bangkok police about the dismemberment of a corpse found near Rayong this week. If you're following the story, it seems that the man fled to his own embassy and asked for help. He claims that he witnessed the killing and chopping up of his former co-worker and was threatened with a dose of the same if he squealed. In his statement, he named the two others who he said did the killing and warrants have been issued for them. It seems that the killing was over funds collected from an online gambling website. Some of those funds were kept by the dead man and not shared out, which had caused the argument. Internet police here in Thailand have been quite successful. So successful, in fact, that a band of Nigerians and their partners set up an online scam operation not in Thailand, but in neighbouring Malaysia. That netted them a reported 100 million baht from Thai Lonely Hearts before a combined Thai and Malaysian police operation caught them in the act. 14 arrests. No word on the money. On Koh Samui, a 44-year-old Russian tourist thought that his luck was in as he went back to his room with not one but two ladies of the night. His luck quickly ran out. He was busy filling a robbery report with police this week when the cops politely pointed out that his ladies of the night were actually lads of the night. CCTV showed them to be two local ladyboys. Should have gone to Specsavers, perhaps. Instead, he reported 150,000 baht in different currency missing from his safe. Meanwhile, at home and in Pattaya, a Dutch tourist who claimed that he was held by foreigners who assist local police and forced to pay a bribe to be let off a trumped-up drugs charge has all of a sudden claimed now that he made the whole thing up and he was just blind drunk. Police accepted his apology and off he trotted to enjoy the rest of his holiday. We can only wait until he's back in his own country to see if he then claims different. As, according to our records, this isn't the first similar claim by a non-Thai in the city. And the secret's out. It's Brooksy. He's taking over the morning show on Fabulous 103 at the end of the month. The grey-haired former nightclub choreographer brings his own content and charm to 103. No newcomer. Brooksy's been warming up for the past few months with two afternoon shows a week before making his bold move to usurp the current incumbent. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 32, dropping down to 22, and yet another overcast day. That is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Pattaya, the city of fun.